Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, this is Thursday, December the 16th, Tiger Technician's Hour. Uh, I'm the host and my service here is uh, the opening call daily newsletter. Don't forget there are Tiger Dollars going on right now, uh, fabulous deals that you can get. And uh, take advantage of that, whoever you have, if you have subscribed to anyone, this is a great time to be able to uh, increase for uh, dollar value. So uh, let's look at the market as we uh, see it right now. Dow's up 130 at 36,054. What does that mean? It means just purely on a technical basis for, for uh, my subscribers, they know that what I look at are a number of key technical tools. I don't need them when I don't need them and I need them when I need them. It's just as simple as that. I look at that doji candle of the 8th of November at 36,565, and that's before, we, we didn't even know that we turned into a doji candle, but we set up a chance to, to short right there. We had it just for a very brief moment, we got stopped out, unfortunately, tighter, tighter stop, got stopped out, and then the Dow plummeted to where? The 200 period moving average. Because it hit the 200 period moving average using Chapman Wave techniques, I said, let's go long at a certain point the very next day, so the low was December the 1st, and on the second, uh, we did go long, and there again, we just got stopped out. It was just a fabulous entry, but I made the, the stop just a tad too tight. It just nicked our stop, and then there was very little chance to get back in because it closed huge up the, the next day, and it kept going higher. Well, what I said was, after we established that this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there was pulling the market back, and I'm going to ju jump around just a little bit to, to just to give you a sense of my thinking here, because uh, this is a really important moment. That the VIX index, the type of high that it made, both in the daily at 35,032, it happened to be a PT, which is a little unusual in the the only uh, tradable that we look at that doesn't really conform to the Chapman Wave methodology of D's, where you, you establish a buy signal that can go to a buy mode. This is an emotional response to the market, and therefore it could have other things. This happened to go to a D uh, right at 3532. I think that was December the uh, 3rd. Yep, the 3rd. And then the way it pulled back, see, to me, if you're looking at the weekly charts, and I discussed this on air, the type of reversal that we had said that although this might not be the low, it's certainly a low of sorts. And therefore, we want to trade it. So what I was looking for, and this could be uh, futile, but this is the way we looked at it, is that if there was a sharp pullback, we wanted to go long. Why? Because of that VIX index, number one. Number two, because of selectivity. That said, the Dow is now the strongest of the indices, even though it's further away from the all-time high than the S&P or the Qs. Uh, that, that was the thinking. And the balance, the 30, Dow 30, it's not the Dow Industrials anymore, it's really the Dow 30, just had the perfect mix for this environment. And therefore, if there was a very sharp pullback, and I had people saying, what are you expecting, a 500-point pullback? What is it? Anyway, we got that pullback. And on Tuesday, we did go long. We added to our long position uh, from March the 23rd of last year, where we've only taken a little bit off and we still kept the core position. And what we're looking at here is that this is a tradable. That's all. We're treating it as a trade at this particular time. Why? Because when you get a mixed market like this, it takes a little while to be able to establish that one sector could be really weak, while other sectors could be not necessarily very strong, but could be leading the way up. All right? So that's the Dow. And here it is above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It has to now become a propellant zone, meaning leg B. It's really a gray B. Uh, it should be a gray B, but I'm actually going to put an up arrow to say if it fails, what well, it fails, there's all, nothing we can do about that. But the strength of the MACD, which is not great, but very good, 
The strength of the stochastic flat at 87% in the daily chart is fabulous. And the fact that the nine period moved over the 14 period is, is, is showing strength. But I'm a little worried about the on balance volume not following up to the upside. And that's just one little nervousness there. So here we are up 122. It was much uh, higher earlier on. And uh, we'll see what happens at the close today, because this is going to be an important thing. Was that yesterday, was that reflex action, the response to the Fed, which normally you would say, surely the market should be down 150 points, not up 300 and something points. That's the Dow. Um, well, that's because of the mix of this particular market. OK, so that's make it as simple as possible. The other thing is that the weekly chart is improving. It's not great in the in the in the S in the Dow. Hey, look at the S and P. I'm taking a little time now because a lot of people are asking. Could you just go through your your thinking? What what was your thinking? Well, my thinking here is that there are patterns that have been repeating over and over for about uh, 16, 18 months. It could be longer, but I'm really taking 16 months. Certainly, last 12 months, where many. Uh, stocks and key key uh, indices have gone back to within pennies of previous highs, whether it was a month or two ago or even years ago, and then they just stopped dead and they pull back. And that says to me, we've got a lot going on here. And the fact that the E-mini continuous contract, the S&P, went to a new high today uh, in leg C, and I have to consider that, to, to me, I still have to consider it's a buy mode because it went to an all-time high. It's in leg C. Maybe it's an E slash C. I don't know yet, but I'm calling it a C. The MACD is not great, but it's good. The uh, stochastic's not great at 75%. It's not over 80%, but it's good. And the nine period moving average is above the 14. So even with the S&P pulling back sharply like this today, and there, I'm going to talk about what I think are the reasons, I am saying that there's this potential for maybe a peak C very soon, and there may be a little D, and there's a, a double top within the, the the highs that were made, and we'll go back to the cash S&P and say, oh, type it in the right place, please. <laughs> Here we go. Um, S&P. Uh, that's it. So 47.43, somewhere in that range in the 47.40s, maybe even 51, 52. So maybe that's what we're looking at. And then we start to see more choppiness. OK, and look at the weekly chart. You've had uh, three highs within uh, a period since October, October, November, where uh, you haven't got very much above the 47, 11-ish area. So I'm just watching this very closely. Why am I making a big deal about that? Because if you look at the QQQ, and if you look at some stocks in the QQQs that have, that have been just decimated to downside, I mean, look at this DocuSign. DocuSign can't get out of its own way. Once it went above the gap high of that huge gap from the 220s down to the one, uh, 150s, and, and now it's still stuck at the 149 area. Uh, I'm going to mention a stock that we try, we've been trying to go long because it's it's a really good company, but I don't, we lost out again today. Uh, we try to buy into the uh, U U Unity software. This is like a very good company. Yep, it's an IPO-ish type thing. Hit a 210 round number high, it drops all the way to the 130 level, and now it can't get out of its own way. So this is a very selective market. I'll be back in a moment and we'll continue. I'll be back after Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, Ronzo, we're back. And now what we're looking at is, uh, we're just going back to the QQQ, just to say what I'm looking at here is that there was a chance with yesterday's turnaround that some of those former big high flyers like uh, Roblox, uh, uh, I'm adding it to the unity that we were just showing, could, ra could rally going from 141.60 just uh, a month or so ago uh, down to uh, the 90, 93 area, 96 area, and now it's at 97. It just can't get out of its own way. Uh, it's trying. It's a red candle. And that's just saying to me, put this together with the estimations. I don't want to take too much time. Yeah, I've done this for the, the last week. But look, and I had a, a really good statement sent to me um, <clears throat> from one of our listeners uh, who who talked about why why wouldn't you be buying the uh, SMHs? Why are you looking to short them all the time? When in fact, if you because I think that the SMHs are kind of done for now, just meaning that the upside is capped. Look, when you go to AMAT Applied Materials, it's stalling. It's holding beautifully near the all-time highs, but it's not using every single uh, as it did before every opportunity to break to the upside. 159 round number high on the 16th. And then it tests. What does it do? It goes to 158.34. And it can't break above it. So there's this double top. The action that, remember, I love to look. I look at, I've been looking at the market. Let's call it intraday, let alone every day, but intraday. Even when I'm in the, overseas, wherever I am, if I have the capacity to do it, I am following the market every time I can, every minute of the day, right? There are patterns, there are characteristics that are telling you what the what the format is. And the format has been for a long time that these exact double tops or very close to exact double tops are something to respect as resistance. Not to say, oh my God, now we're going down to... No, we're not saying that at all. What we're saying is... The upside is starting to be capped. Look at NVIDIA, one of the all-time great companies and great uh, uh, semiconducting companies. It's running out of steam right here. Look at that. It tries to bounce. goes to 311 today. It's trading now 294. 346.47 with an all-time 319 round number low on the 22nd of November. Uh, advanced micro devices. Fantastic company. 
Uh, I, I'm not going to do that now. Maybe tomorrow, Techno Friday. I'll show advanced micro devices that goes in the single digits into the triple digits and then back again for the last 30 or 40 years. It just does that all the time. Right now, it's made a top of 164.46, pulling back sharply today. I'm saying this is such a selective market. Look, for subscribers, they know we have, we have out of today's action, we have three stocks that are either at yearly, a yearly high or all time highs. You've got to be very selective here and try to stay with their selectivity because regardless of what the emotional news is, that's the VIX index, if your stocks are holding well, it's telling you that it's ignoring all the noise. And that's what you want. It doesn't mean to say it's a guarantee. It just says, good, you're in the right area for now. That can change, but stay in the right area. So um, uh, we have another stock. So we, we lost about 2% on one this morning. And we're gaining 2% uh, on one that is low price. Because for my subscribers, I like to mix. I can, I, we can go. We have a stock that we bought at 484. And today it's trading at 661. Yeah. We have a stock we bought this morning and the day's young. Anything can happen at $9.16, uh, 16 or 15, uh, 18 cents. And it's trading at $9.34 right now. And it's in an area that it's just like a screamer stock. It, it's in a niche area that has the chance. I don't know if it'll do it, but it just has a chance to, to, to give us a nice gain and maybe even have part of the position stay for longer term. Because we're going to, we have already said, take off a little bit if such and such happens. So that's the way you you got to look at the market. Be very selective, and also at the same time be very discriminating in uh, your choices. But at the same time, if you have a, a tight stop, you can always get back in. That's what we did with the Dow. We had a tight stop. We got stopped out the day after the low. This low we already we still long from uh, March of twenty three, uh, uh, March twenty third. 2020 but this one we, we got a new position will that one work i don't know but we did all the homework so now let's go to a new s aspect i just want to do this quickly because we have callers waiting so tlt look at this the tlt is saying yields are stuck in a range at this particular point at 149.36 the lehman 20 year treasury bond fund is saying yep you have a chance of a, a lowercase h pattern so that the tlt could start to pull back if it pulls back, yields will go higher. Let's go to our first caller. We've got Mark in Fort Collins. Mark, how are you? Good, Basil. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Good. I want to ask you about a couple of stocks, but let's start with MJ if, if you have time to do another one. So MJ's Alternate Harvest. This is the cannabis uh, ETF sector. Um, so I bought so it yesterday when it tested the left side low right at 1098. Um, and I'm wondering what you think. So, okay. That's the only way you can do this. And in this particular point, I'm going to use a term that I don't actually like to use uh, as a serious uh, technical term in, in, in market uh, action. But I'm going to say that's really the only way you can play this. And I have to use the word play because in a way you have to treat it almost as a game because you don't know when the uh, cannabis sector, whether, whether the Let's just say they legalize. Let's just say, let's just say that they, the, the, the cash part of it becomes, um, at least it becomes legitimate so that they can start to have, you know, credit cards, debit cards, whatever it is that they, they need to use at this point. It's, that's very difficult um, on the federal level. So that, as I understand it, and all I can say is that that's just one component. The other component is that, from what I understand, people have t told me that they, um, that in a sense, what I've been talking about has been happening in other places. And what I'm saying is, just here in Newton, Massachusetts, we've already got three, of which two are within a mile of one another. Uh, these are, are centers uh, where you can, where you can buy. Uh, I think there's also part medical and part uh, recreational. And I heard of someone in Northampton or East Hampton, Massachusetts, where on one block they've got two. I mean, so they're cannibalizing themselves for the cannabis. So I, to me, there's a bunch of things. Not only that, from what I understand, 
to be able to compete with the uh, illegal side of it, it's really tough. So all I can say is that at some point as a long-term buy and hold, you might have to watch 50%, 60% decline, but at some point the MJ will just kick in and it'll scream to the upside. When that is, I don't know, but it'll be when barriers are starting to be acknowledged as helping the profits and profits is what it's all about and uh, customer numbers. So all I can say is that it's you got a you, you got a lovely entry just off off the low, and now you have to watch it. Today's action, I'm not, I, it's worth talking about. If you want to hold on, I'd like to just uh, f finish this thought up because a lot of people have asked me about this. So Mark, can you hold on? Sure. Okay, we'll be back with Mark. We're talking about the MJ, the cannabis sector, and the Dow's now up 188. 190. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back, and this is the Tiger Technicians Hour. On with Mark. Mark's asked about the MJ, which is the alternate harvest, and I've been discussing it in kind of fundamental terms, not just technical terms, and yet I don't really understand the fundamentals too much. I, I, while we were on break, I was thinking, you know, Tommy Jr. does such a fabulous job of trying to put the the technicals together with fundamentals on, on so many areas. I think I'm going to uh, offer him a, a question. He doesn't have to take it up if he's listening or if someone tells him about it. But 
I would like Tommy Jr. to do a little bit of work on both the technicals and the fundamentals of the MJ area, of this uh, uh, cannabis sector, because I think you'll be able to put it together so that we can get a better understanding of what's involved, what would be needed. But I can just tell you this, Mark, you've got a really good entrance. I don't just, <laughs> this is famous last words, I don't see it at this particular point breaking the tens in the near term. I think it's going to try to establish at least a base to, to rally. But I do suspect there's a chance that it gets stuck in a rectangle formation with one more test of the downside. So I'm thinking that maybe over the period of the rest of December, it's trying to form a base. And maybe early in January, if for the first time, we actually see it holding a rally in the weekly chart, which is just, it cannot do. It just fails to hold above the 14 period moving average. So you entry right now, this is the one time I'm going to say to you, normally I say, make it a fairly tight stop. I'm going to say, you know, this might be worthwhile giving it a little, at least part of it. You can give a little bit more of a wider stop because I think fund managers are going to be looking at sectors that have just been beaten down horribly and that maybe have a chance to at least have a counter trend rally for four to six weeks. Maybe this fits the category. We won't know. Make it real, real uh, clear as far as I'm concerned. A close below um, yesterday's low says, all right, once again, you can wait a little bit for something to happen. That's at 10.89. But at the same time, with your entry, I would, what was your entry again? 10.90? 98. 98. You know, I, you got just about the exact low. I probably this time I'd give it a little bit of room, at least on part of that. Why? Because I think the downside on percentage, yeah, point is 10%. But on the upside, I think there's a chance that it can be more sustained now to the upside. Can it get a point and a half to the upside? So you've got a nice one to one and 1.5 ratio. I think there's a chance, and that's all we can say. So when I say play, I mean, in this case, you have to treat it almost like a casino because there is no news here to actually say, wow, this is a change of trend. You want to okay. see the price move, and then news follows. I hope that okay. helps you. Yeah, do you have time for one more thin stock? Mm. Oh, give it to me. DKNG. UKNG. DraftKings. Oh, oh, D okay, DKNG. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I bought it. Uh, I bought it when it tested the left side low here at twenty-seven fifty, and wondering um, it was acting better this morning. But we're the, the, this so this is a little different in that this one ha they all have the same patterns. I mean, just sinking ships. These are just looking terrible. Um, but at the same time, this is the one that wow. It's almost like MJ, like the cannabis sector. It needs to have some trigger that is so that fundamentalists can actually look at it and say, ah, now I've got a good reason for owning DraftKings. At this particular point, it just hasn't taken any sign of strength and held. So you're in, um, I, in this particular instance, I wouldn't do more than, if I don't know what your stop is, but definitely in this case, a close below uh, 2667. Wow, that's a, that's, yeah, that's a point, okay, that's not bad. A close below that says, you know what, uh, yes, you might be. You might. You might have to pay up for. It. I'd rather pay up for it as in making higher highs and higher lows than lower highs and lower lows. So yeah, it's that, almost that's the same thing. But, yeah, that's but, you have, but you have. But you have picked the two. You have picked the two stocks that you you pick them right at the lows, and they have had a little bit of a bounce. Um, so at this point, it's money management. That's all I can say. You need okay. to see DraftKings trading not once. But out of three days, it has to hit 28.85 to 29.30 and hold that. And then it says, oh, now it's got a little bit more of an upturn. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Thank you for calling. So, folks, let me do this. I had a question about Baba. I haven't finished my uh, over, overview. Baba, this is a, look, they're all the same. The stocks that have been hammered look the same. And when they have the big V shaped move, um, you're going to say, why wasn't I buying it in the whatever it is? But until then, it is, eh, whew, I mean, it's painful. You know, you, you get in and then you stop out. You're getting this. So I'm just saying at this particular point, I would uh, look at Baba and I, I'm going to say this is a Chinese Amazon, Alibaba. I would just 
I, I don't see anything in the Chinese sector uh, uh, because of the risk. I do see some stocks that are really, they, they're fabulous stocks, but I just think that the risk is a little bit too, you've got enough risk here in, in the American market. Why would, you, why would you want to add the Chinese market? So the question was, Baba, and I just say, uh, I would I'd avoid it, but if you are long, at one at one ninety seven eight one hundred nineteen point seventy seven right now, wow! I would not want to see a close below. In fact, I would say, why don't you get out at least of uh, two thirds of your position? And if it starts to rally, I'd rather be buying higher highs and higher lows than lower highs and lower lows. Just be real careful. Next question ahead. Yeah, so uh, uh, MA, um, look at this. Right, I spoke about MasterCard being right on the 200 period moving average. It's starting to improve. So um, I had the question about um, MA, would I look at it? That was back on Friday. Uh, that was Friday. So we're not too far from where we were on Friday. It's at 348. I'm going to make this suggestion. It isn't what I would ideally want to do in a stock that's trading at 348. I don't want to go in and out of stock like that. I want a commitment there. I don't mind going into lower price stocks in the hundreds or low hundreds or even single digits uh, and, and trying. And, but in this particular case, I put my foot in the door. I would start the position at 348.86, knowing that it's in a trading band right now with resistance at the 200 period moving average of 349.50. Uh, it had a high today of 351.93. It's pulling back three points from that. But it's holding, it's not holding badly, it's holding okay. So start a position and let's, we might have to wait until Monday to say, where do we add to the position or have we been stopped out? In this particular instance, because you're just starting a, a, a nibble, not a nibble, maybe a little bit more than a nibble, but if you were going to start a position, this is like a half or even a third of that position, right? So it's, it's, it's just an initiation. And let's do that at 348.88. And what I would say to you is we have to see, and I have to give you at least in this particular instance, a 6 a 2% stop, just because it initiates at 6 points. So let's look and see what the 342 level is like. That's where the 9-period moving average is, and it's green. The MACD is good. Stochastic is good at 87%. I, I see no reason why just a starter position couldn't be made right here and with a fairly tight stop, because if it holds nicely through Monday, that's given us enough time from Fed speak into three days to about two and a half, three and a half days, or two and a half days of action, and then we'll see what happens. So yes, I'm saying start your position, and if you are in it, there's nothing much to do. I wouldn't add at this particular point, but let's just follow MA Mastercard. Uh, I'll be back in a moment, and we're looking at the Dow up 208 points, as it's up 10. And I, I will talk about what I'm thinking, why these pullbacks are big tests for the bull. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So, a uh, down to 220, SMEs up 870. This is going to be very interesting. What I'm thinking here is that, that yes, there was short covering yesterday, but there was also new buy. My suspicion is the new buy, and this for me was also a test. I, I shouldn't have tested with uh, based on uh, what we've done before, but I did want it, and that's the reason, the only reason why we went back into Unity after trying earlier on uh, Unity software is because. Like uh, Roblox, like uh, Crowd, uh, in, in mentioned the Den Crowd, uh, you know, the, these are stocks that have just been absolutely decimated from the 298 high on November the 9th. Crowd Strike Holdings, Cybersecurity, I mean, fantastic company from what I understand, drops to 180. I mean, this is 100 points, it's almost a third, and it's struggling. And this was a test for me for this Unity to say, because if Unity, which uh, Unity Software again creating software from what I understand from the CEO when he was interviewed. Uh, geez, they are in everything. They, that, that software is used in many, many things. That should have had a nice push to the upside. It could still do that. I'm just keeping tight stops here. I feel that we can make it up with other other positions that we have uh, quite easily if I keep the stop tight. Yeah, I could have had it once and just held it and said, let's have this big stop or no stop at all. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Uh, not in a market like this. So what I'm looking at is the selectivity is really important. When you're talking about, uh, what was it yesterday? Um, home, uh, housing stock, I find that all the time. So Toll Brothers, look, housing stock. Toll Brothers makes a 75.61 all-time high uh, just four days ago. And it says to me, it's like the semiconductors. I think these this sector right now is getting overbought. Um, Hovnanian. All-time high, 133.99, not an all-time high, but a recent high peak F on the 13th, pulls back sharply. What was it? Uh, Toll Brothers, Hovnanian, Beezer, and what's the other that I'm missing that I know so well? A, B, C, D, with a D, no, E, F. Come on, there's somebody tell me what uh, the other home stuff. Oh, man. Uh, I can just picture it right now, except I can't get the name. I'll get it in a moment. All right. Um, but I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know what? So you get a little bit of a pullback in a sector. Look at this home, the, the Philadelphia, Philadelphia housing sector. No, it wasn't Horton. Uh, it was uh, not Pulte either. Oh, God, why am I forgetting it? Um, one of the main ones, 39.41 peak G slash C in the humble in the housing sector. So I think here again, we could be looking at just a digestive phase. Dell, no, Dell, we have, no, no, no. Um, uh, when I think of it, I'll say, oh, it was so obvious. But uh, I'm not, And Simon Properties, uh, uh, this is SPG. That's not the one, but that's in the, look, made it 171. This is what I was talking about. Look, 171.01 high back around November the 8th. Pulls back, and then what does it do? It does a retest weeks later at 171.12. So the characteristic of these double tops 
is something that you've got to be thinking of. And um, there's, there's that chance as well that we manage somehow to have the laggards push at least back towards the highs. I'm going to put uh, housing um, housing stocks. I'll just put a question mark right there. Something will pop up. Uh, humble, humble, uh, housing stocks, housing stocks. God, just not showing up. Not there, not there. Uh, oh, Lenar, that's, was it Lenar? Yeah, I think Lenar. Lenar, yep, there it is. Lenar, 117.54 all-time high on the 13th of uh, December. A peak F in the Chapman Wave methodology, P a leg E in the weekly, and pulling back, and that's what I'm saying. Be very selective now. Um, and look at the, look at GIS. This is the um, uh, new all-time high, General Food, General Mills. I mean, this is what I'm saying, that the, there's a rotation going on, a bifurcation, it's not a bifurcation, it's a quad, it's tri -quad, quad quadfurcated uh, market right now. And the, the, this is what I was saying, that the, the whole food area is usually called the safety area. In other words, a defensive area, not defense like Raytheon, defensive, because when markets start to pull back, Normally, you'd see that the defensive stocks start to do very well. Sometimes even the, uh, the dividend stocks start to do well as it becomes more selective. This is so ironic. We made all, making all-time highs. The S&P futures made an all-time high today. And General Mills is making an all-time high. What a market we've got. So as I'm looking at this, what I'm saying to you is be very selective. Don't be afraid. If you're in the wrong area, just put in your stop and get taken and raise cash. This is a good time to be raising cash. Be very selective. All right, got that out the way. Now, the other thing I want you to talk about is, so I did that, I did that, I did that. The FXI was a question. This FXI goes into the category of why mess around with China? This is the big cap. China is making lows and lows and lows. I heard someone say, oh, oh, there was a, a technical analyst who said that China could come on strong now. I, you know, I don't see it. I don't think until we start to show strength, will China show strength. It's the other way around. They're needing us more than ever before. And they have their own problems. I mean, that's just the way it is. So I did that, did that. Um, question now. Oh, what? NEE. -E. In the uh, Tiger, wow. What, you know, we've got these wonderful resources, folks. We've got the Tiger, we've got the Den. Just fantastic uh, uh position players and traders. We've got the Tiger YouTube. Yes, one. Uh, uh, hi, Basil. Could you please go over NEE? -E? What do you mean go over NEE? -E? <laughs> There's nothing to go over. It's making an all-time high as we speak. Next Era Energy Inc. I wonder if they do uh, alternative energy. Anyway, all-time high leg C in the monthly, leg D in the weekly. And I, I didn't have time to do it, but I can just do it visually. A, B, C, D, peak D there. And then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F. It's either an F or a brand new B. But the technicals are fabulous. The MACD is good. Stochastic is good. Stochastic is at 85% on balance. Volumes pull back a little bit of being, after being overbought. I would say that your key support is at the 80, I'm talking bigger term now, not just daily, but looking at the weekly, is between 88 and 86. Major support there. Um, and if you're long, all I would say is if you have a question, you just made the statement, but if the question was, could you do an analysis on it and you are long, then I'm saying, you know what? If you ask the question, it means you're just a little bit nervous. Why didn't you take your nervous percentage, maybe it's 2%, 3%, and just take a little bit off? You've got an all-time high. Cheat yourself to, 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 to the pleasure of being rewarded and take a little bit off. It's acting fantastically, but if you ask the question, it means hey, you got a little nervousness there, so ease your nervousness by taking a tad off. And you know what? It'll be your pleasure if at 91.96 you take a little bit off and in three days' time is trading at 96. Instead of saying, oh, my God. God, I got it. Say, hey, that's nice. That's great. The amount I've got left is more than making up for the little bit that I needed to uh, <laughs> to ease my um, my nervousness. So now, let me go through this again. I have to slow down because I've had a bunch of questions here. Could you look? Oh, was it? So NEE looking fabulous. Um, pass. 
P A A A A S. Uh, Rose. No, it wasn't Rose. It was Things and Gold. Yeah. So Pass had a big spike to the upside today. It's a silver star, Pan American silver, up at dollar eighty-two, twenty-three ninety-one. So, so Mark, when you were looking at MJ, this is the kind of pattern you want to see, and then it has to hold the gain because this has done it before. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Just uh, briefly, let me do this. I had a question that Dan, uh, uh, one of my subscribers had bought the Dow Diamonds on the dip this morning and said, what should it do? So now I can talk about it. What I wanted to show you is this. Let me just do this real quickly. Uh, and remember, we are long. We went long on Tuesday. The Dow added to our long position from March 23rd. No, April of last year. Um, so let me go here. DIA. This is what you want to be looking at. So the DIA is, is running nicely. It's up 2.41 at 362.18. What I would recommend is right at this particular moment, take some of some of it off. In fact, the way I'm looking at the market right now, I'd even take two thirds of your position off. I know that if it runs up, you could have made much more money by holding them. But you've had a beautiful gift. You got it at the low today. It's up very nicely. And you're talking about tomorrow's options expiration. And I'm not sure we're going to have an up day in the Dow tomorrow, not at this particular point. I think it might be a consolidation and they can do anything they want. So I'm just going to say take about two thirds off and then the other the other I split into two parts because I know you buy quite a lot. I would say that if it pulls back at two three sixty two point if it goes under 
361.75. Take another little bit off, but at least keep a little bit for the end of the day into tomorrow. You might lose it all, but that's the way I would play this because there could be sudden spikes because the, the shorts got squeezed yesterday, but there was new buying. The new buying came in, and I suspect the new buying did what a lot of people would have wanted to do and bought like the Roblox, all those stocks that were just hammered that were favorites, and now they are failing. So this is the thing. And now they're going to go into the other stocks that are holding well. So there could be another burst, maybe later today, early tomorrow, and then some weakness. So try to keep a little bit into the close, maybe or later, maybe 3 o'clock tomorrow. But at least start taking off a little bit right now. You've had a fabulous game. So folks, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. You're going to have Think or Swerve. You have Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, fabulous broker. Don't forget Tiger Dollars. Look at the front page of TFN. Check out both before my daily newsletter. See you tomorrow. Have a